this problem can be modeled with a right triangle. Now the first plane is at a distance x equal to 225 from a point and the distance is decreasing therefore the speed dx dt is equal to negative 450 miles per hour. The second plane it is at a distance of 300 miles vertical distance from the same point and the distance is decreasing therefore its speed is negative 600 miles per hour and the distance between the two plane is s and they asking us for the sdt which is the rate in which the distance between the plane is decreasing. According to the model, S is the hypotenuse of the triangle. Therefore, S squared is equal to X squared plus Y squared. Taking the derivative of both sides with respect to time, we get 2S dS dt is equal to 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt. We can divide all three terms by 2 without changing the equation. So s dx dt will be equal to x, which is 225, times negative. 450 plus y which is 300 times negative 600 so s ds dt will be equal to negative One hundred one thousand two hundred fifty plus one hundred eighty thousand. Now the total is going to be negative. 281,000 Well, we don't know what S is, but we can look for it in our geometric model, our initial geometric model. So we know that one plane is 300 from the point and another plane 225 and the distance between the two plane is s and it's the hypotenuse of the right triangle s squared is equal to 300 squared which is 90,000 plus 225 squared which is 50,625. So S squared is equal to 140,625. And S is the principal square root of 140,625, which is 375 miles. Now ds dt, when we divide by s, will be negative 281,250 divided by 375. So ds dt is basically negative 750 
miles per hour. It's decreasing at a rate of negative 750 miles per hour. Now, B asks us for the time before they collide. So that's the time left for the traffic controller to put the planes in a on a different flight path. Distance is equal to rate times time. And we know that the distance between the two planes is 375 miles. We also know that the rate of decrease is 750 miles per hour. To calculate the time left, we will divide the distance, which is 375 miles, by the rate of decrease, but in absolute value, because times cannot be negative. So we will divide it by 750 miles per hour. So we will get 0 0.5, so half an hour, which is about 30 minutes.